In a world where virtually every moment can be captured on camera, there exists a vast repository of the peculiar, the unexplained, and the downright bizarre. Join us as we venture into the realm of the unexplained, where the mundane meets the inexplicable, and the click of a shutter camera can unveil the extraordinary lurking just beyond the frame. 19. The Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot Footage the Patterson-Gimlin footage is a short motion picture that has stirred public imagination and debate for over half a century. Captured in 1967 by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin in Northern California's Six Rivers National Forest, the film purports to show an unidentified creature, which was later dubbed Bigfoot or Sasquatch. The figure in the footage appears to be a large bipedal being covered in dark hair, walking through a clearing before disappearing into the woods. From the moment of its release, the film has been a subject of controversy and fascination. Believers in its authenticity cite the fluidity of the creature's movement and the detailed muscle structure visible through its fur as evidence that the film captures a living creature. They also point to the testimonials of Patterson and Gimlin, who maintained the veracity of their encounter until their deaths. Skeptics, however, raise questions about the film's credibility. They suggest that the figure could be a person in an ape suit and highlight inconsistencies in Patterson and Gimlin's accounts. Additionally, the context of the film's production, Patterson had a known interest in Bigfoot and was seeking to produce a documentary about the creature, fuels skepticism. Technological analyses of the film have only fueled the debate. Efforts to enhance the footage and analyze the creature's walk and anatomy have led to inconclusive results. Some experts suggest that the movement and physical characteristics of the figure are not consistent with known wildlife or human in ape suit possibilities, while others believe the opposite. 18. The Phoenix Lights The Phoenix Lights phenomenon is one of the most famous and widely discussed UFO sightings in modern history. On March 13, 1997, thousands of residents in Phoenix, Arizona, and surrounding areas observed a series of strange, brightly lit objects in the sky. The event consisted of two main phases, a triangular formation of lights seen passing over the state and a series of stationary lights seen hovering over the Phoenix area. The first phase involved a large V-shaped object with several enormous lights. Many witnesses described it as moving silently across the sky at a slow pace. This object was seen by people from Nevada through Phoenix to the edge of Tucson. It was described as larger than several football fields with lights along its edges and seemed to block out the stars of the night sky as it passed. The second phase occurred later that evening when a series of stationary lights appeared over the Phoenix area and lingered there for hours. These lights were observed to extinguish sequentially, adding to the mystery of the event. The official explanation provided by the Air Force was that the second set of lights were flares dropped by A-10 Warthog aircraft during a training exercise at the Barry Goldwater Range. However, this explanation has not satisfied all. Many witnesses dispute the behavior and appearance of the lights as inconsistent with flares. The Phoenix lights have sparked numerous theories ranging from military aircraft and flares to extraterrestrial spacecraft. The widespread nature of the sightings, the large number of witnesses, and the lasting public interest have made the Phoenix lights a hallmark case in UFO studies, maintaining its place as a topic of debate and fascination in the realm of extraterrestrial hypothesis and investigative research. 17. The Enfield Case The Enfield Poltergeist is one of the most documented and controversial paranormal cases in history. It occurred primarily between 1977 and 1979 in Enfield, North London. The phenomena centered around the Hodgson family, particularly two sisters, Margaret, aged 12, and Janet, aged 11. They lived in a council house with their mother and brothers. The disturbances began with knocking sounds and pieces of furniture moving inexplicably. Over time, the activity escalated to include levitation, the appearance of apparitions, 
and Janet, speaking in a deep, raspy voice, claiming to be the spirit of a previous resident, Bill Wilkins. The incidents were witnessed by neighbors, journalists, police officers, and paranormal investigators, adding credibility to the claims. One of the most compelling aspects of the Enfield case was the volume and variety of the phenomena witnessed. Objects were reported to move or be thrown, heavy furniture was said to levitate, and there were instances of Janet's supposed possessions where she displayed voice phenomena and knowledge beyond her years. The girls were also photographed seemingly levitating off their beds, although skeptics argue these pictures merely show the children jumping. The investigation attracted numerous paranormal researchers, including Maurice Gross and Guy Leon Playfair, members of the Society for Psychical Research, who spent considerable time with the Hodgsons. Their experiences and recordings added significant documentation to the case, though they could not provide definitive proof of the supernatural. Skepticism about the Enfield poltergeist revolves around the idea that the girls fabricated the events, craving attention, or under psychological stress. Critics point out that some incidents were prone to suggestion and manipulation, and Janet herself admitted to some level of mischief, though she maintained that the core events were genuine. 16. The Fresno Nightcrawlers The Fresno Nightcrawlers is a modern urban legend stemming from a series of unexplained sightings in Fresno, California. These entities, also known as Fresno Aliens, first came to public attention through grainy surveillance footage captured by a Fresno resident in 2007. The footage depicts a pair of strange, white, humanoid figures moving across the lawn at night. What makes the Nightcrawlers particularly distinctive is their peculiar shape. They appear as a pair of long, thin legs with a small head, lacking arms or a distinct upper body. The original video sparked widespread intrigue and led to further claims of sightings, including a similar video captured in Yosemite National Park. These creatures are characterized by their smooth, white appearance and stilted, almost puppet-like gait as they ambulate. They have been described as appearing to be wrapped in white cloaks or robes, contributing to their ghostly demeanor. Skeptics argue that the night crawlers could be the result of video hoaxes, misidentified animals, or optical illusions. In contrast, some paranormal enthusiasts consider them to be extraterrestrial or spiritual beings due to their otherworldly appearance and the lack of a clear explanation. Despite various attempts to debunk or rationalize these sightings, the Fresno Nightcrawlers remain a compelling mystery, captivating the imagination of cryptozoologists and paranormal fans worldwide. Their eerie, simplistic form and unexplained nature continue to fuel both speculation and fascination. 15. The Hampton Court Case The Hampton Court Ghost is a famous apparition associated with Hampton Court Palace. This is a historic royal building located on the outskirts of London, England. The ghost gained international attention in 2003 when CCTV footage appeared to show a spectral figure in period dress closing a fire door that had been left open. The figure was dubbed Skeletor by the media due to its skull-like appearance. The palace, dating back to the time of Henry VIII, is no stranger to ghost stories. It has been the site of many reported sightings over the years, including those of Catherine Howard, one of Henry VIII's wives, who is said to haunt the haunted gallery. The 2003 footage sparked renewed interest and debate over the paranormal activity at Hampton Court Palace. Some speculate that the figure might be one of the palace's many reported phantoms. Despite the eerie appearance of the figure in the video, skeptics argue that there may be more mundane explanations, such as a trick of the light, a reflection, or even a prank. However, the image of the cloaked figure moving through the palace's doors has firmly embedded itself in the lore of Hampton Court. It is one of the most famous ghost sightings in the UK. The incident continues to intrigue both visitors and ghost hunters, adding to the palace's reputation as a location rife with supernatural occurrences. 14. The Ohio Mystery Dad had seen one too many bruises on his daughter and decided it was time to figure out why. 
Unsure of what was causing them, he discreetly set up a camera in her room. Even Mom was clueless about the source. Letting the camera roll to collect evidence, Dad finally braced himself to see the truth. What he discovered left him speechless. As the daughter slept instead of walking, she was crawling backward. It was downright eerie, almost like she was possessed. Her parents were horrified by this unusual sleep behavior. The video, though unsettling, provided the answers they had been seeking. So, what was behind their daughter's odd nighttime behavior? A specialist detected some unusual brain activity on an EEG, specifically in the girl's temporal lobe. This suggested a possibility of temporal lobe epilepsy, causing her nocturnal episodes or seizures. Research indicates various types of seizures, but the ones during sleep are often tonic-clonic. In simpler terms, these used to be called grand mal seizures, lasting less than five minutes. This explained the stiffening and twitching of muscles seen in the footage. Their daughter received medication to treat seizures and has fully recovered. However, the father also had the house blessed by a priest, just as a precaution. 13. The Hestalen Lights the Hestalen Lights are an unexplained light phenomenon that occurs in the Hestalen Valley in rural central Norway. These mysterious lights have been reported in the region since at least the 1930s, but the most intense period of sightings occurred between December 1981 and the summer of 1984. During that time, the lights were observed 15 to 20 times per week, drawing considerable attention from both the public and scientific communities. The phenomena consist of various forms of light, typically bright white, yellow, or red, that can appear both above and below the horizon. The luminous balls are known to move with incredible speed in various directions and can appear as large as a car. Observations have been made both day and night in clear weather and cloudy conditions, prompting numerous theories about their source. These include ionized iron dust, combustible minerals, or some form of plasma. Despite various hypotheses, the exact cause of the Hestalen lights remains unknown. Since 1983, scientists from various disciplines have studied the lights, setting up a permanent research station in the valley. The Hestalen phenomenon is one of the few recurring light phenomena in the world that has been consistently monitored and studied. Yet, it continues to be an intriguing mystery, attracting researchers and tourists fascinated by the possibility of a natural yet elusive scientific explanation. 12. The Dorset Ghost The Dorset Ghost is not a single entity, but refers to a variety of paranormal activities and sightings reported in the county of Dorset, England. This county is rich in history and folklore, the term has been popularized by the Dorset Ghost Investigators, a group dedicated to exploring and documenting supernatural occurrences in the area. They have investigated numerous historic sites, private homes and public spaces, capturing what they claim to be evidence of ghostly apparitions, poltergeist activity and other paranormal phenomena. Their investigations typically include video recordings of moving objects, eerie sounds, and spectral figures. These videos often show sudden temperature drops, electromagnetic field fluctuations, and visual anomalies. All of these are presented as evidence of a ghostly presence. The group's work covers a wide range of locations in Dorset, each with its own stories and alleged sightings, contributing to the region's reputation as a hotspot for paranormal activity. 11. The Black Forest Haunting The Black Forest Haunting refers to a series of alleged paranormal events experienced by the Lee family in their secluded home near Colorado Springs, Colorado. It is often dubbed one of the most intense haunting cases in America. The activity began in the early 1990s, shortly after the family moved into the house nestled in the dense woods of the Black Forest region. The family reported a wide array of phenomena, including strange lights, shadow figures, disembodied voices, and the appearance of ghostly faces. Perhaps most disturbing were their claims of physical attacks by unseen forces and mysterious photographs capturing orbs and streaks of light. 
The family installed motion-sensitive cameras to document these events, capturing video and photographic evidence of odd lights and figures, which they believed to be ghosts or other supernatural entities. The sheer volume and intensity of the incidents attracted paranormal investigators, including the famous demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren. They declared the house to be haunted by powerful spirits. 10. The Thornton Heath Poltergeist The Thornton Heath Poltergeist is a well-documented case of poltergeist activity that occurred in the London suburb of Thornton Heath in the early 1970s. The case revolved around the Hitchings family, who reported experiencing a series of bizarre and unsettling phenomena in their home. The disturbances began with seemingly harmless incidents like objects moving on their own and unexplained knocking sounds. However, the activity quickly escalated to more alarming levels. Furniture would levitate, household items were thrown across rooms, and loud, disembodied voices filled the house. The family claimed that they felt a pervasive sense of dread and unease throughout the ordeal. The intensity of the poltergeist activity reached a point where the family could no longer tolerate it. They sought help from paranormal investigators and even involved the local police, who reportedly witnessed some of the inexplicable events. The case attracted significant attention from both the media and the paranormal community. Researchers attempted to study the phenomena and offer explanations, ranging from natural causes to the possibility of a genuine poltergeist haunting. 9. The Sally House Haunting The Sally House Haunting is a renowned paranormal case centered around a house in Atchison, Kansas. This building is known for its intense and unsettling hauntings. The story revolves around the DeFeo family who lived in the house in the 1990s and experienced a wide range of disturbing phenomena. The hauntings reportedly included unexplained noises, disembodied voices, mysterious shadow figures, and objects moving on their own. One of the most disturbing aspects of the case was the family's claims of physical attacks by unseen entities. These included scratches and bruises. They attributed these assaults to a malevolent spirit they referred to as Sally. The Sally House garnered attention from paranormal investigators and enthusiasts, including television shows and documentaries. Ed and Lorraine Warren, famous demonologists, also visited the house and documented their experiences. Their investigations led them to believe that the property was plagued by powerful supernatural forces. 8. The Wingate Hotel Poltergeist the Wingate Hotel Poltergeist refers to a paranormal incident that occurred in 2012 at a Wingate Hotel located in Illinois, USA. The case attracted attention due to the alleged poltergeist activity captured on security cameras within the hotel. The video footage showed a series of inexplicable disturbances in one of the hotel rooms. Lights flickered on and off, objects moved seemingly on their own, and shadowy figures appeared in the hallway outside the room. These events were recorded over several nights and were consistent with typical poltergeist phenomena, including the movement of objects without apparent physical cause. The video quickly went viral, sparking widespread speculation and debate about its authenticity. Some viewers were convinced that the hotel room was haunted by a poltergeist, while others questioned the validity of the footage, suggesting it could be a clever hoax or the result of technical glitches. The Wingate Hotel poltergeist case remains unresolved, leaving room for both believers and skeptics to interpret the video footage in their own ways. 7. The Michael McGee Case The Michael McGee Case is a paranormal investigation that gained attention due to the alleged poltergeist activity experienced by Michael McGee, a man from England. The incidents occurred over several years, primarily during the 2000s, Michael Magee claimed to be the target of a poltergeist. According to him, this was a mischievous and sometimes malevolent supernatural entity. The recorded phenomena included objects moving on their own, strange noises and disturbances throughout his home. These incidents were often sudden and unpredictable, leaving Magee and those who witnessed them perplexed. One of the most compelling aspects of the case was the video evidence captured by Magee himself. He used cameras to document the strange occurrences as they happened. These videos 
showed objects levitating, doors slamming shut, and various household items being tossed without any apparent physical cause. Paranormal enthusiasts and investigators were intrigued by the case and attempted to study the phenomena. Skeptics, on the other hand, questioned the authenticity of the videos, suggesting that they could be staged or manipulated. 6. The Pocatello High School Ghost The Pocatello High School Ghost is a paranormal phenomenon that gained attention due to a series of strange occurrences captured on security cameras at Pocatello High School in Pocatello, Idaho. The incidents, which began in 2014, have been interpreted by some as evidence of ghostly activity. The video footage from the school's security cameras showed a range of unusual events that included lights flickering on and off, doors slamming shut, and shadowy figures moving through the corridors. These incidents often occurred late at night when the school was empty. The phenomena were particularly unsettling because they appeared to be happening in areas where there was no logical explanation for the disturbances. The videos also documented what some viewers believed to be ghostly apparitions or manifestations. 5. The Tina Resch Poltergeist The Tina Resch Poltergeist case, also known as the Columbus Poltergeist, is a paranormal incident that unfolded in Columbus, Ohio in the 1980s. Tina Resch, a teenager at the time, became the focal point of a series of bizarre and unsettling occurrences that were attributed to poltergeist activity. The disturbances reported by the Resch family included objects moving and levitating on their own, unexplained knocking sounds, and even claims of physical harm inflicted by unseen forces. Tina Resch claimed to be the target of these supernatural phenomena. They often coincided with her emotional distress or moments of anger. The case attracted widespread attention from both the media and paranormal investigators. Notably, Dr. William Roll, a parapsychologist known for his work on poltergeists, researched the Resch case. Skeptics, however, raised doubts about the authenticity of the events. They suggested that Tina Resch might have staged some of the incidents, or that they could be explained by psychological factors. 4. The Doris Bither Poltergeist the Doris Bither Poltergeist case, often referred to as the Entity Case, is a famous paranormal incident that occurred in Culver City, California in the 1970s. It centers around Doris Bither, a mother of four, who claimed to have been the victim of relentless poltergeist attacks. Doris reported a series of terrifying events, including physical assaults by unseen entities. She claimed that the spirits would appear as dark, shadowy figures and sexually assault her. Her children also witnessed strange occurrences, including objects moving and levitating on their own. The case gained significant attention when paranormal investigators Kerry Gaynor and Barry Taff were called in to study the phenomena. They witnessed some of the disturbances firsthand, including the movement of objects and strange cold spots in the house. One of the most unusual aspects of the case was the claim that photographs taken during the disturbances showed strange anomalies. These included smudges, streaks, and mysterious shapes. These photographs were considered by some as evidence of paranormal activity. Skeptics have offered various explanations for the events, including psychological factors and the possibility of a hoax. The Doris Bither poltergeist case remains one of the most debated and controversial cases in paranormal research, with believers pointing to it as proof of supernatural entities and skeptics seeking alternative explanations. It has also inspired books and a film adaptation titled The Entity, further cementing its place in paranormal lore. 3. The Scottish Poltergeist the Scottish Poltergeist is a paranormal case that unfolded in Rutherglen, Scotland in 2016. The incident involved a family who reported a series of disturbing and unexplained events that they attributed to a poltergeist. The phenomena reported by the family included objects moving on their own, loud knocking sounds, and furniture being overturned. They also claimed to have witnessed shadowy figures and experienced feelings of dread and unease within their home. The case drew the attention of paranormal investigators and researchers who conducted investigations and attempted to capture evidence 
of the alleged poltergeist activity. Their efforts included setting up cameras and recording devices to document any unusual occurrences. Skeptics have suggested that the disturbances could have natural or psychological explanations, such as drafts, structural issues, or even pranks. However, the family and some investigators remained convinced that the events were beyond conventional explanation. 2. The South Shields Poltergeist the South Shields Poltergeist is a paranormal case that took place in South Shields, a coastal town in Tyne and Ware, England, in 2006. The case involves a family that reported experiencing a series of unsettling and unexplained events within their home, which they attributed to a poltergeist. The disturbances reported by the family included objects moving on their own, strange noises, and even physical attacks. Family members claimed to have been scratched and pushed by unseen forces. These incidents caused considerable distress and fear among the family members. The family eventually sought help from paranormal investigators and mediums to understand and address the alleged poltergeist activity. These investigators conducted various experiments and studies to capture evidence of the phenomena. The South Shields poltergeist case garnered attention from both the media and the paranormal community. It became a topic of debate, with some believing that the family was genuinely experiencing paranormal activity while others suggested that the events could be explained by psychological factors or other natural causes. 1. The Cardiff Poltergeist The Cardiff Poltergeist is a paranormal case that unfolded in Cardiff, Wales in 2006. It involves a family residing in a house that became the centre of a series of unsettling and unexplained events attributed to a poltergeist. The reported phenomena included a wide range of paranormal activity. Objects moved on their own, doors slammed shut, and furniture levitated. The family claimed to have heard mysterious voices and experienced a pervasive sense of dread within their home. These occurrences escalated over time, leading the family to believe they were dealing with a poltergeist. The case attracted the attention of paranormal investigators who conducted thorough investigations to document and analyze the alleged activity. They used various techniques, including the placement of cameras and recording equipment, to capture evidence of the disturbances. Skeptics have suggested that some of the phenomena could be attributed to natural or psychological factors, and they questioned the authenticity of the events. However, the family and some investigators maintained that the disturbances were beyond conventional explanation. Which of these was the scariest to you? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.